Hi, guys, it's Donna G. Berry. I have a fun little project. I'm using some multimedia board and it's just black. It's got a little bit of texture to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch with a pencil kind of the idea I want to do. And I know you saw it on the thumbnail, but I'm excited to kind of show you what we're doing. And I'm going to do Bob wire across here. And so I just have that little line to show you. And I am going to put a bird on here. So I'm going to put this bird right here. That's his belly. All right. And it comes right around here. So can y'all see that up his neck and his tummy? That's where that's how it sits. And his little talons grab the, the uh, bob wire. All right. So back here, I'm going to draw the tail. All right, so this black's going to come on up here, and then he's got a fuzzy little head right here. Now, the head comes around, and that's the back of his body, okay? Now, I like it when a few of them line up on here. So I found a cute little picture where there's a couple of them, and then see the beak comes out here. So here's a beak on this one, and he's turned sideways. Okay, and he's right here. He's got this little bit of black in here. This one comes a little bit here. All right, and then he's kind of he's kind of laying it down a little bit like this, squished down. And here's the tail. Okay, so they're kind of right next to each other. And then I like it when there's one kind of right in front and going, looking right at you. Okay, and he's kind of all, they're kind of all squished down a little bit so that they are getting kind of um, warm a little bit, kind of holding their feathers all against them. All right, so they're kind of looking over there at that one. All right, and then we have some green that's going in. So I think you're going to like how easy and how fun this little project is. So I have a script liner that I'm using, and the colors I use are multi-surface multi colors, and they go on all kinds of different surfaces. But I've just got citrus green, sap green, so a light and dark green with one stroke. I've got the white and the wicker white medium gray, floating medium, that's what I use instead of water. And we have some violet pansy, Pueblo, which I'll put into the grass, all right? So when I get started here, I just want you to know, he's looking really little. So he's like just um, hanging his head, but I might make him slightly bigger than that when I actually do it. Now I want to turn this a little bit so that you could see a chisel edge of the medium gray and the wicker white, okay? Now, I would do licorice and white and get a gray tone, but we are on black. So see, now I'm working the medium in a little bit. Now, this is the easiest thing to do is to turn it sideways where you're pulling it towards you. All right. So the first thing that happens is I'm going to lead with the white. And we do a long slender one. Okay but it twists, so it's okay I went off there because I want to show you that we're going to come in here now and it's got a little bit of a bob wire twist. And I think I'm going to try the script liner on here and show you that. I think after we get that first one that this will be easier going like this. Okay, so I'm going to roll it. All right, so we are going to Bob word um, twists like this, all right? I have too much water. This only time I use water is the script liner, but there's too much water. So I'm going to come along here. And it really is Bob wire. And I'll show you how we make it look like it's Bob wire. 
So it waves in and out because it literally twists. They twist one wire over the other wire over the other wire. And then they put little barbs. Okay, that's why it's called bob wire. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I can come in here with just the gray. And what you're going to see is a twist. A twist. I think these guys are a little too small for me. But I think it's going to be in perspective. It's going to be right with the green I'm going to put in here. It's like a crisscross, okay? All right, so it's just some barbs. That's all you want to show. Now, I do need a smaller brush. I am going to get a two flat. And this is just a fun little quick painting. And I just thought you might like it for some little cards that you might do or some different looks. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is let's paint in the white bodies. All right. So we're going to come right in here, like I said, and make this body a little bit bigger. It can still be bent over with this head down. You know how you see some of that because it's raining or whatever. And then this little guy has his tummy here. He's a little bit bigger. Okay. The six flat wicker white. And I'm going to come around. Now he's pretty big. So maybe I'll make this guy bigger. There we go. I'm just creating it with you right now. Okay. There we go. And then right in here. Just like different positions, okay? All right, so that's the white on the bird. And the beak has a little bit of a lighter gray, all right? So that absorbs pretty fast into the paper. Oops. And I didn't put black out. I need to put some licorice out because what's going to happen, we'll have the licorice with a little bit of gray so that it will look black on black. All right, so... That's a nice little hint for me to share with you is that we pick up the licorice. And so this licorice right here, we're going to put his head here and he's bending down kind of, and he has wings that come to the side. Okay. And then right under the bob wire, you want the bob wire to show, we have this tail. All right, so if I come in here with some gray, that gray, yeah. I'm putting some gray in here and gray in here. Still too, like, too black. All right. All right, so we have this little bit of a head. Just looking down, and I'm going to come with a small brush, a two, to get the beak in there. I don't know if we're going to see this well. I'm going to put the beak, the neck, the head, and come down with a wing. Okay. And then on the other side of here is the tail. All right. So let's put some gray there. All right, we're going to have to put a little bit more white to get what we want. Okay. But I'm, I'm creating this with you so we can learn together. All right, those are gray. See the gray? All right, this one has his tail on the front side. So look, we have the wing coming here. We have the tail coming across here. And that wing goes this way. And so what's going to happen here is we have a little bit of his head. Do you see that right here? 
And then here's the wing. And then this is the back. All right. So if I have to go over the wire, this is the most time consuming part of it. And then we do this fun, fun greenery, okay? So I'm gonna come down here with a beak and this head's gonna go right here. And this is the beak and here's the beak, okay? All right, we're gonna bring some licorice in here and some licorice back here. All right. So what's gonna happen is uh, I pick up a little bit of white and see this little yellow ochre. It's not yellow ochre, Pueblo, just a little bit. And I rub that in and that's a little bit of the tummy. A little bit of the tummy here, a little bit of the tummy here. Okay, so that light's a little bit better for you to see. All right, I can come in with a teeny little dot. I'm gonna put a little dot there. And this beak comes in with a little dot for the eye. And this beak comes there. So on here, I have to make it look like this. See how his beak is looking down? And you wouldn't see the eyes on this one. Okay, we're gonna come around here with a little bit of gray and gray. We're gonna come down here with the barbed wire across again. All right, and then this black tail there comes on top. So we're gonna bring that barbed wire back across there. Okay, now what did I tell you? We have those talons, all right? So I can just put this licorice on top of that white. And then the gray on top of here makes it shine and stand out better. Maybe. Okay. All right. Now, when we come across here with these little bits of talon, they just grab the wire. A little bit to grab the wire. Can you see? Got that one little spot. I'm going to see if I can take care of that as we go here. Now I'm going to work in some grass. And so this is a lot of weeds and grass along the bob wire. And I'm going to pick up medium because we don't use water. So this is a 12 flat and I, I dampened it first. Um, and I have this one spot here. So first thing I want to do is come in there. So I make sure I cover that. Now what's going to happen is this is kind of like in the dark. And there's just a glow from, here we go, a glow from the stars or whatever above. We're going to come down here. Now I am going to come off. All right, usually I come up, but um, I want to cross a lot this way. So now if I have too much medium, do you see how it goes see-through? and goes into the paper, all right? So I'm gonna come all across here. 
They can have all those colors. All right, so whenever it gets to dry looking like that, I can come across here. Now, this is what I loved is that we have a piece that comes here. This is just a photograph where um, it shows this fun blades of grass and this great looking bob wire with birds on it. I just loved it. All right, so so what's going to happen just to share with you is that all down along here, I was trying to get it out of that shine so y'all can see it better. I need to get a riser here or do something with this light. I have a new fluorescent and I'm adjusting to it. So see, if you come in here, and have some dark back here, I'm gonna cover all this black and the bumpy part of it. And so this is slip, slap, slip, slap. I hope you've enjoyed what I've been teaching. And if you've looked at some of the pictures on, go to our Facebook group, the Dawn of Dewberries, Dewberries with an S, official one stroke group, and join us. We'd love to have you there seeing all kinds of beautiful one stroke and they will inspire you all these wonderful people and teachers they will inspire you in the one stroke world and it's not confusing because we only let one stroke be on there and so you don't have to put yours we just love you too and uh, so many people thank us for letting them join and i'm so grateful that they want to share with us our one stroke family and it doesn't take very long for you to go, oh, I love you guys. What they, what's most amazing is we've had so many people that have lost their spouses or who um, have been sick or having hard times and or just get retired and, and empty nests and they just need us. So we just love that we're there for everybody. Now, you could do two things. You can put the bob wire back over these and put it behind the bob wire. But I kind of like the look of it in here um, where it's kind of over it. Now, do you see I went back over here again because some of those faded and get sucked into the, uh, the background black. So I'm just going to come along, see my whole arm is doing it. So slide, 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 slide. All right, so I do it all just green without moisture. Sometimes I brought white in here and work that in. All right, so we get a stem that comes straight up and then we take some pieces off of that. All right, and then we have some that has dried flowers, like pretty little flowers on it. All right, so I'm going to bring these over and some heavy. Okay, are you liking that? All right, so then I have some in here that go just like this. All right, so if we come in here like this. All right, and it's got a little bit, look, wiggle out and in. There we go. And then we just keep on going. And we're going to put a couple little blossoms in here. Isn't that kind of fun? And it's simple, real simple little strokes. Now, if you print out a picture of this, 
and then you trace those birds to get the size, but they're just really little. There we go. All right, so what we want it to look like is a ton of different weeds. And then what's gonna happen here, okay, is we have different bits of uh, little teeny pieces of gray and white. You see that I've got gray and white? All right, so a little bit about a gray and white over there. Uh, this has a little bits of, of seed pod on here, and I'm just using the corner. A little bit more over here. Okay, now I did come in here with a teeny bit of, um, what do you call that, Pueblo. They just have a little bit of that here and there to the grass. I think just adding color like that adds gives you a little bit more depth. You know, just little bits of it. Don't go crazy with it. All right. Now, can you see the little birds? You're just getting the illusion of them. All right, now I'm going to take this little um, number two. I'm going to get some white and little bits of purple, violet pansy. Okay. And I came up here and we have a little bit up there. A little bit of white. Come out here. Come out here. Come down here a little bit more. There, a little bit more. All right, so that's the little Kaiser there. And then right in here, there's some little bits of purple. All right, a little bit in here. There we go. All right, and then I know, and in this picture you don't really see it, but I just want you to see that in here, there's some little guys that hang over here. And I'm gonna put it all right in there. I really let, it's just like tall grass and it's got these little wild, Kind of looking like a little wildflower, but they're really itty bitty bits of pieces. Okay, right along there, right along there, and then right in there. There we go. All right, is that just enough to look cute? Now you could put any color in the background, just showing you that we can make these little birds sitting on that fence and they just look interesting to me. I just thought, look how fun that is. And then right along here. Okay. And then right along here. All right. I'm going to put some gray there so you can see him. And his little head there. All right. And then right in here. All right. So what do y'all think? There we go. A little bit of 
fun a few little birds and some grass i hope you enjoyed it it's just something loose and 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 relaxing so relax and paint is what it's all about and i will see you next week and until then keep painting thank you mm -hmm.